Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Um, I want to give you guys a different type of settings. Uh, these are the night mode settings, but as you will see, it's a daylight, and even during uh, during the day, you can still use those uh, night mode. I call them night mode picture settings calibrations that I have implemented here. Uh, the reason I like these settings, and I'm gonna go through them and I'll tell you why. It's because I'm not really sometimes a huge fan of too much of peak brightness or too much of uh, vibrant colors, and it is really bad for your health, guys. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that peak brightness, that blue UV light, it's pretty bad for your eyes and it can damage your eyes, it can strain you, it can give you headaches, nausea, all sorts of stuff, because you're emitting that LEDs, you know. All it's different, all it, it doesn't have that much of an effect. Uh, but the LEDs, especially over 1,000 nits, LEDs, you know, peak brightness, that will definitely have an effect on you. So this is why I'm showing you the Samsung TV. Uh, especially the QLEDs, QLEDs go even higher. I think they go up to 1,500 nits maximum. Uh, which is ridiculous, to be honest with you. Uh, and that that blue UV light, you guys can Google it, is not healthy for you. So what you want to do is you want to go with a warm one. I'm going to switch this off. And what you want to do, you want to hit the warm one. Warm one color. Do you see how it changes? See how it's blue now? Now it's warm. Blue. Right here. Warm. Now this warm one color will give you that easy on eye, less strain, because what the warm one does, it kills that blue UV light, that, that blue UV light that it's emitting, and that blue UV light is bad for your eyes, okay? All right, this is why some people uh, wear those protective orange glasses, is to protect them from the blue UV light. Uh, this is why a lot of people cannot sleep at night, because they have that blue UV light hitting into their eyes, they cannot go to sleep. Uh, you need this warm one color. So keep it on a warm one. I'm using Gran Turismo Sport PlayStation 4 Pro, for example. You know, Dynamic contrast, you can leave that at high. Smart LEDs, I would put them at the low. Put them at the low, you don't have to be at high. And then up here, let's start from backlit. I chose to leave backlit at 7 because... I remember this is a night time mode. You're gonna be watching this during the night, all right? I mean, I don't recommend you use this mode during the day, uh, but in my opinion, as I will show you, you can still use it during the day because I'm filming this during the day and you can still use it. The only thing you're gonna be missing is that peak brightness. You're not gonna have that super peak brightness, but it's healthier for your eyes and you can play longer sessions on the TV calibrated like this, okay? Let's say you wanna do a longer sessions and you don't have a monitor and you wanna play in your TV, so you can use this type of settings. So I have my backlit at seven. Brightness at 50. The reason I never move my brightness is because I don't wanna crush my deep dark levels. You know, you always wanna adjust your uh, deep dark levels to be visible Okay, if you if your shadows are not visible and if your characters shadowing overshadowing is too dark, then you're crushing your deep dark levels. Contrast also it's another thing that you have to kind of move down a little bit in order for you to uh, reduce that peak brightness and that blue UV light. Now we don't have that blue UV light anymore because we chose uh, warm one color. Okay, which is the uh, yellow sepia warm color but you still have to move that contrast down a bit so that peak brightness it's not emitting still that that light that's going to strain your eyes so you want to keep it at 73. sharpness is at 15. i felt sharpness at 15 it's going to give you that nice little outline of detail normally i would keep my sharpness sharpness at zero but Sharpness at 15, it's really, it's just the right amount of outlining that I felt it's needed. 
Uh, obviously, I would never go above 15. You know, uh, I would actually, as a matter of fact, I would keep it at 10. But in this case, you can keep it at 15. Color, I always keep color at 50. Why? Because you already have a great color. You already have uh, quantum dot cells. You already got the white color gamut. You already have HDR. You don't have to oversaturate the colors. Leave the color at 50. And all of the other uh, filters, I have turned them off, as you can see. Smart LEDs, I moved them down a little bit because, again, w this is a nighttime mode, all right? So we want to make sure we uh, restrain ourselves from all that peak brightness. And as you can see, all of the other uh, filters are off. Dynamic contrast, I keep it high because, hold on. Here we go. Keep it at warm. Dynamic contrast, I keep it at high because I want my, uh, you know, contrast between the white bright levels and the deep dark levels to be balanced. And you can see that example right over here on your right. To balance the contrast, to prevent excessive difference in between the bright and the dark areas. It's just what I just told you in layman terms, pretty much. White balance, I never mess with this because this is something you got to have a uh, calibrating software and calibrating hardware in order for you to do this. If you don't have the uh, equipment to do this and you don't know how to do a two point, 10 point, then you shouldn't mess with this, okay? First, you need to understand what the two point is, what the 10 point is, and what proper uh, measures you have to use to adjust your white balance okay so don't mess with this you have to be professional you have to have a calibrating software and a calibrating hardware I might do a video on this to kind of explain what the 10 point is and 2 point is but right now I don't have time to do that it's a bit complex because you have to understand the basics behind it first before you can jump into 2 point and 10 point okay it's, it has something to do with the color temperature, okay? But it's more than that, all right? Gamma, I never mess with gamma. I used to move gamma down, but then I realized moving gamma, all it does, it crushes your deep dark level details. So you don't wanna do that, okay? You need your deep dark level details to be present on your TV at all times. Remember, the whole idea of calibration is to have a really good, equal, balanced picture. So hopefully you guys are taking notes of this. Hopefully you guys are writing all of this stuff down. Uh, my color space, it's always native. Okay, it's always native. Pretty much. At all times. So I get that perfect color spectrum. Original native color spectrum of the white color gamut. So keep it at the native. So hopefully you guys are writing these things down. Pausing the video. Remember, this is for the nighttime mode, all right? And I am using a game mode, just to let you know. It is on a game mode. It's right here. And if you guys don't know how to switch to a game mode, click to the special viewing mode. On a special viewing mode, that's where you're going to find three different types. Sports mode, game mode, and HDR plus mode. I would never, ever recommend that you use HDR plus mode. This is a fake HDR. Do not use it. I Please, just stay away from HDR plus. You could use it maybe on your cable, but even on a cable, it slows it down, okay? There's a lot of latency. You don't want to, look, just don't use HDR plus mode. It's, it's fake, all right? <laughs> Stay in the game mode. And as you will see, even during the day, I can still use this nighttime mode, but the best benefits you will have is during the night to watch this mode. What you need to do is you need to save presets. You should use this and save it to your preset two, and then use the day mode and the preset one. You should have two different modes. You should have a day mode, preset one, and then night mode, preset two. So when it gets dark, you turn it to a night mode and watch it in a night mode. That's what I do, I save presets, okay? And it looks great, you know, as you will see here. It's very easy on the eyes, it, you know, it doesn't strain you at all. 
I don't know if my camera is picking it up, uh, but uh, it looks very nice. It really does. And even here, if I was to go to my uh, settings here, still would look great. Let me go to Evil Within 2. Oh, I don't have the... Uh, let me see if I can maybe uh, click on something else here. I guess I can always click on Call of Duty. Here we go, I'll show you really quick. <clears throat> and you will see that the uh... so here I am during the day I can still play it you know the, as you can see my shades are open the lights coming through uh, the reflection you see it's from my iMac from my computer I've been checking some stuff out on it um, but here I am using a nighttime mode. Remember, this is healthy for you, okay? Yes, you're not gonna have that peak brightness, okay? And I, I'm not recommending that you that you play like this during the day, but if you use this technique and this type of uh, calibrations, you can play longer sessions. If you're live streaming during the day and then into the night, you can do a lot of longer live streams on your big TV this way okay I guarantee you if you live stream six hours and you have that peak brightness peeking into your eyes with that blue UV light you're gonna feel you're gonna have a headache later on I guarantee you that I'll put my money on the table I'll tell you right off the bat you're gonna have that headache okay let's hit a campaign pretty quick here uh, let me uh close this really quick there after all the mountain is not the same but we finally got the foot holding the giant I don't know if you guys ever played this level of the game would have taken the hotel not evacuate civilians who decided this was a rescue op we thought there was time sir last time I checked Turner was in charge not you is he making the calls now? No, sir. It's my call. It's on me. It's on both of us. Yeah, well, right now, the last thing I should be worried about is that two of my best men can follow orders when we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. Let me remind you, this is the spearhead of our final drive to the Rhine. Got a whole damn forest to clear so the convoy can get through. So from this point on, I'll accept nothing less than your best. Now get your insubordinate asses ready to... As you can see, no issues. Even during the day, I'm able to uh, enjoy this. It's been three weeks. Now, just don't We're expect now. that super peak brightness, okay? You're not gonna have that super peak brightness, but what you got, what you are gonna get is a uh, easy on eyes, longer sessions, live streams, okay? She's pregnant. Whoa, hey, that's huge. All right, Daniels is gonna be a daddy. She's trying to let me know. I wasn't ready to hear it. All right. I could use another cup of joe. Come on, you mooks, let's give him some space. Hopefully I'm not spoiling anything here. Sure you do. Uh, the best way I can explain the campaign of uh, Call of Duty World War II, it's really like Saving sorry, Private Ryan meets baby. Band of Brothers. It's kind of like that, you really. Out. You can see a lot of influence between picture. Spielberg uh, World War II movies and Tom Hanks. Uh, in Sledgehammer, they're definitely inspired by that, obviously, in this uh, video game. Davis is talking. Come on. Uh, on my way. The Hurricane is dark and nearly impenetrable. Our mission is to take Hill 493. Whoever holds the hill dominates the valley. For lesser men, this task might seem insurmountable. But our division boasts a proud history of firsts. 
In World War I, we were first to hold off a German attack. First to launch a counteroffensive. First to cross the Rhine. Nothing has ever stopped us. Nothing ever will. Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. I can't hear you. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. That's right. Now get ready to move out. Duty first. Back to the old meat grinder. Amen, brother. We move out in... I gotta say, uh, that, uh, I still get impressed by PlayStation 4 Pro version. Listen, when it comes to uh, Call of Duty World War II, I have both versions. I have PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X version. Xbox One X version looks a little bit, tiny bit better in some areas. Like these are small nuances, okay? Like uh, in, in terms of uh, volumetric light and textures, they're pretty much identical. The only difference is that performance wise it's the x version uh it's a little bit better in performance wise just a tiny little bit better okay but the differences are minor they're not like huge difference i don't want you guys to get things twisted okay uh x version and pro version are pretty much identical they're not that different from each other all okay? right uh but i do want to say point out that um you see you can still play this game even with a night mode. However, you're not going to be getting that peak brightness here. All right. The whole point of this video is to tell you if you're somebody who's planning on live streaming, you know, somebody who's planning on doing a long sessions of live streams, I think this mode that I showed you, it's definitely going to help. Remember, you have to keep it on the game mode. Then you go to the expert settings. And these are the settings that you have to write down. Hopefully you will pause the video, write these things down. I assume you have paused the video and you have wrote these uh, settings down. Same thing here. This is a very important aspect to keep your warm color one temperature. It's very important to keep it on warm one. And you can use this as a preset, guys. Uh, remember, you can save this on a preset two or whatever preset. So remember, keep this on the whatever preset you want to keep it on. But remember that preset for the night mode. So when when the night comes and you want to play this at night, you just switch to a night mode that I just gave you here, and now you can play during the night. When it comes during the day, you switch back to a day mode. Save those presets. You have four types of free, uh, presets here on a Samsung, and you can save those presets and you can use them. That's what I do. But look, I don't recommend that you play it like this during the day. You should keep it on your regular peak brightness but I, can, I could still play like this. It's not gonna bother me, honestly. However, one uh, significant benefit you're gonna get is the fact that you will not strain your eyes, okay? This is more like a health benefit, okay? Especially for somebody who doesn't have a monitor and it's, uh, it's playing a lot and it's live streaming a lot so for you, this would be like a very useful uh, thing to do. As you can see, it runs really well. It's very smooth. Now, why is it smooth? Because you have the game mode on and you have all of the filters off. When you move all the filters off and when you put it in the game mode, you're going to get much better latency here, okay? Meaning the response time will be perfect. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video was informative. Remember, this is a nighttime mode. This is really to help you with the live stream. And as you can see, here I am during the day here. I can still use this during the day. Don't expect super peak brightness and quality, but you are going to get a health-wise benefit here 
by using these uh, presets. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this was informative. Remember, I do these videos for you to help you out. Okay, I know how to do this. I don't need to do this for me. I do this for you. So remember that. That's why I do these videos. I do it for you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it watching and give it a try. Let me know what you think.